In Hollywood, there's no shortage of actors willing to spend their social capital on causes that are worth fighting for. It's a fine tradition. And the one who more or less started it in this country is Shirley Douglas. And you could say she's come by it honestly. A legend on stage and screen. We'll take care of our own, Bob, before the government turns the town of New Bedford into a relief camp. Shirley is the daughter of Tommy Douglas, the first leader of the federal NDP and the father of Medicare. And surely the time has come for us to take this next great forward step. As a child, Shirley joined her father on the campaign trail, listening and learning as he challenged Canadians to make this country a better place for everyone. As an adult, Shirley, who was married to fellow Canadian Donald Sutherland and his mom, to Kiefer, campaigned against the Vietnam War for the Civil Rights Movement and was arrested and later acquitted for her support of the Black Panthers. Along the way, she's created some indelible roles. Canadian suffragette Nellie McClung, American Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. We're at war. The Attorney General's indictment name is Bin Laden, not the Taliban. We need to focus on him. Now Shirley's being honored for all her great work with the Actor Toronto's 2013 Award of Excellence. Shirley Douglas, everybody! How are you, lady? Nice to see you. Oh, it's so good to see you. How have you been? Well, I've been fine. I've been, I've been dealing for the last four years with a... I've got severe spinal deterioration. And there's nothing you can do about just... I've been kind of lying down for two years, and it started to get better. How, how are you with that kind of reality? Because I know how much you love to, to do this, to perform and to be. When... Is it an, what's the emotional or intellectual oh, the, adjustment? What happened is I was so, because of my age, and I want everyone to know, I'm so thrilled in 13 months I'll be 80. Not a girl. And so I'm just <laughs> thrilled. It's, uh, it's just marvelous. I, I don't want anything to not help me make it to the 80. I don't care after 80. <laughs> the, the, the idea of you getting this uh, award for excellence is so fantastic. You might be the only person to ever get this actor award and at one point get busted for, for buying explosives for the Black Panthers. Conspiracy to possess. That's, that's quite a <laughs> punk rock charge, man. But conspiracy to possess or conspiracy for anything is a way to arrest everybody. Yeah. You don't need any proof. You don't need anything. Uh, you've heard enough rumors or... So it's, it's really what everyone is arrested in the civil rights movement with conspiracy, too. And, uh, no, it was, it was uh, very surprising. I heard an extraordinary amount of banging on the door, which was a floor up. And I was yelling, I'm coming, I'm coming, you know. And it was the police taking the door down. And nobody had a warrant. Um, and... I saw how frightened they were. You for, well, I never understood how, and it makes great sense that the people, policemen, are also very terrified mm -hmm. of their job. And they do things, one, the man was holding his gun right near my head and he said, you know, and I thought, oh, please, would you just move the shaking hand because <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to get us anywhere. Take a look at this clip, this great clip at an airport with her and her pops. Oh. Are you disappointed that your daughter did not show up to meet you? Well, I'm not sure she hasn't shown up to meet me. You haven't, people haven't given me any chance to find out whether she met me or not. She hasn't. Uh, how do you know? She's not here. How do you know? I haven't seen her. Well, the fact you haven't seen her doesn't mean a thing. You've been <laughs> you're standing at the very door as I come in, and uh, I don't know how I'd get a chance to see her or, or her to see me. Fine, sir. So I don't think you have to jump in. Hello, honey. Uh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman just tell me that you're not here. <laughs> what a great question. that clip so much. So that's that, That's your father coming to see you. That's the great Tommy C. Douglas. Tommy wanted to come. He When I was in, j in jail, uh, when I came out, I was there for four days in the in oh, a very bad prison, what a bad Sybil Brand Institute. And uh, when I was coming out of the jail, they came with a note. And it said, it was from my father, and he said, uh, please call me when you get out. And his big fear was, was me not having a good lawyer. Right. And he had no idea what had happened or what was going on. So um, that clip, I just love. Yeah, 
it's it shows even like it shows in that context it's just blind faith you know it's yeah <laughs> so how is it that you got on a path through the arts then because here we are and we're celebrating this wonderful career stage and screen and so much more and you know that the the activism people can trace the line through your yes, upbringing yes what do you make of the i mean i hear so many people in the business talk about the star system or the lack thereof and i wondered are we asking the right questions are we having the right conversations what, what do you make of where we're at the scripts I get, you just can't believe. Just unbelievable. And you think, the nerve to come to drop this off at the door, what am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> you know? Like what kind of stuff? Well, just rubbish. Yeah? Just rubbish. I think it's because a lot, I mean... And then they come and they say, you know, we don't have a lot of money. And I said, well, no, I didn't ask you for any money. What I'd like is a script yeah. that we could do. <laughs> we have the singers. We sure do. We have the music. We have the writers. We have the screenwriters. We have the comedians. For, we have the comedians. Why don't we have any actors that are known? Poor Gordon Pinsett, if we drag him anywhere one more time. <laughs> poor Gordon is exhausted. <laughs> What a charm, though, eh? What a joy. Oh, my God, I don't love anyone anymore. Yeah. But Gordon, please, Gordon, can you help me? Oh, all right, Shirley. And the two of us teetering down Main Street, you know. <laughs> Shirley Douglas, everybody. We'll be right back.